Hi, I'm applying for an internship here at ECI, and I need help writing a resume because I've never written one before. Okay, yeah, absolutely. I'd love to help you with that. Come right this way. I'd be more than happy to help you out. Okay, thank you. you just take a seat right here. Okay, so to start, I'd just like to ask you with what you think the purpose of a resume is. Um, basically showing my skills on a piece of paper to an employer. Okay, yeah, that's a pretty good answer. Um, basically, our definition of a resume is that it's a description of skills obtained, as well as a declaration of your potential contributions. Now, to start, your name headline goes directly at the top. Your name is going to be in bold and around two to six font sizes larger than the body of your resume. Okay, so now moving into chronological order, what will come after the name headline? The objective, right? So if I'm applying at the UCI Counseling Center, then I should include that. Yeah, exactly. And you should definitely keep in mind that your objective is going to adapt depending on the position that you're applying for. This section summarizes the type of work you want to do and the career field you're interested in. For example, if you're applying for a job at the UCI Counseling Center, a good objective might say to advise students by providing relevant academic information and services to ensure the success of these students as well as the preservation of the reputation of the Counseling Center. Wow, I never thought of putting it that way. For most graduates, the most important qualifications that they have to offer for an employer is their education, so that's going to go directly beneath that objective statement. In this section, it is advisable to specify major and minor fields of study and courses of particular relevance to your objective. Include two to three bullet points highlighting key concepts that you learned in your courses that apply to the area you're applying to. Any special achievements or honors can be included in this section. Also, if you studied at an additional institution abroad, you may include that as well. When using a chronological format, List your position title, the names of the organizations that you worked for, and the dates you worked in the heading for each of those experiences. Experience descriptions may include your paid employment plus any significant academic, volunteer, or internship activities. Highlight what you have done in a concise, powerful, action-oriented way with strong, implicit verbs. When possible, note any achievements or key lessons from your experiences. This section follows the same format as the professional experience section. In this section you will list any activities, club involvement, community involvement, community service, and leadership positions. Basically anything that doesn't fall under professional experience. The next section on your resume is going to be your administrative skills. In this section, you will include any computer skills such as Microsoft Office or Adobe Acrobat. Language proficiency is also very relevant. Oh wow, so me being fluent in Spanish, French, German, Portuguese, and Swahili actually counts for something? Oh, and look, I have a complete resume now. I can't believe it. Yeah, it looks great. You utilize all the space and you have strong experiences for each section. Also, make sure to include that you have references available upon request at the very bottom of your resume. Thank you for stopping by the SARC. Feel free to stop by if you need further help with your resume. Good luck with your internship. Thanks. I have an awesome resume now. I can't wait to get the internship.